They called 2012 that time the bloodiest summer here in our city. Guns were just floating around into these teenagers' hands, and nobody could figure out where are all these guns coming from. My son lost his life to gun violence with these straw purchases. Kareem was an amazing young man. He was different. He was true to himself. He loved basketball. He loved playing video games. Um, I had come home from work. It was dark. I found him laying in the bed. I went and I touched his foot. And that's when I felt the cold. And I turned the light on. And that's when I noticed he was laying there in his own bed full of blood. And I noticed the window was open. He was 17, 11th grade. Nobody wanted to come forward in my son's case, obviously. You know, there's a street code to stay quiet. I did my own investigation. I found out who it was. The couple that was selling the guns, they had sold guns to a lot of people here in the community. That's how my son got murdered, with a gun. It's the straw purchases. They say that the gun is lost or the gun is stolen, and nothing else happens, there's no follow-up. And that is the loophole. A gun not reported, stolen, or lost increases the chances that a weapon will be used in a violent crime. How do we stand by and allow this to continue? How many more lives do we lose? How many more families are destroyed in my community and yours before we act on this? I know Kareem would still be here if there were sterner laws. His life would have been beautiful right now.